and it's starting. Can you close the door? No, I can't. That is entirely impossible. Off to a great start. Well, hello there. This is DUMB Universe along with Goat. How's it going? Put, put, put the thing in the mic. Um, this is going to be a, a new reaction to, uh, to Death Battle. This is something I am going to straight up say right here, right now. Too afraid to react to on my own. I, yes, I'm not going to lie to you people. I was too afraid to just sit down here and react to it myself. I needed another cynical asshole who literally does not care. He literally does not care. Hey, I'm so. not cynical. <laughs> yeah, you tell yourself that. I don't, eat, I don't know what you're telling yourself, asshole. In, 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 in any case... Goat simply does not care. He doesn't care. I don't care either way. And usually I don't either when it comes to this. But since I am an Naruto fan, I am afraid that my fanboyism will come out if uh, Jiraiya loses. And uh, so we're doing a thing. I'm rooting for Jiraiya because I already said I was rooting for him in the last video. So I'm not gonna take back my my stance as that there. And he's going for Roshi. So if Roshi wins, say hooray! We have someone we can flock to for for awesomeness. Goat does. And then you can shit on me, but then it's the other way around, and you can do the other way around. Either way. Roshi team. Yay, Roshi team. <laughs> so this is going to be one of those uh, Deadpool versus Deathstroke battles, where I like Deathstroke more than Deadpool, because if it wasn't for Deathstroke, I wouldn't have gotten to the comics to begin with, thanks to Teen Titans. But I know he cannot beat Deadpool, because Deadpool's Deadpool. So, same thing. I love Jiraiya more than Roshi. I want him to win, but I don't see him winning. Even though there's likelihood that he can win. I, I, I can see him win because apparently he's, you know, now in the fucking universe tournament. And I'm like, how did you even get there? And it's like, oh, hey, see that guy who could bust planets and shit? That's, uh, that's, like, that's like the main reason. Like, if it was simply Master Roshi from uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z versus Jiraiya, hell yeah, this would be a better, uh, a better matchup. But apparently... Uh, he got like a wicked power boost, being able to d do a whole bunch of things that he should not be able to do at this point. But screw it, he still can't even still fly. Dude can't even still can't fly, by the way. Videl can fly. Roshi, <laughs> I think he's just too old. Probably. E e in any case, we're gonna get started. Let's just let the torment begin. Again, it's not torment. It's going to be torment. No, it's not. It it's gonna be great. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna enjoy it. It's Dragon Ball versus Naruto. It is part of the Eleven Commandments. The last one being, never do this. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. You know what would be a pretty memorable holiday present? The gift of genetic discovery. Luckily, nothing important is happening. DNA kits are on sale from now until December 25th. It's a testing service that can provide insight into your ancestry, health, wellness, and traits. And it's mm, super easy value. to use. Just yeah, luckily he's doing, doing an ad, so we didn't miss anything important. Sweet. Why are you doing that? Oh, oh, 23 and me. Ads. So I tried it myself and found yeah. out I have a bunch of relatives over in the UK I never knew about. Now yeah, I, 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 I found out that I'm I'm actually black. Any 23 me kit, like Surprising, right? Oh, really? Yeah, I'm at least 4% four, four Cherokee. I don't even know what a Cherokee is. Uh, Cherokee is a type of plant. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you are 4% airplane. Awesome! <laughs> My mom and dad said I could be anything, so I became an airplane. <laughs> the finest warriors are never developed on their own. While some are simply molded by their enemies, the best usually seek the wisdom of a master. Who, for some reason, is a weird old pervert. Like Roshi, turtle oh. hermit and teacher to Dragon Ball's greatest hero. And Jiraiya, the Toad Sage and instructor to the Who, in the end times, taught them their most overpowered attack that they do in variations, and did not get them to God status by the time they got to God status. They were simply jumping off points. <laughs> yeah. Without a doubt, one of the greatest martial arts champions of all time. Well, yeah, he's good enough to rival gods, become a Super Saiyan, and even master Ultra Instinct. But he never would have achieved I think you should have put Super Saiyan first and then get the god one at the last so whatever. Powerful, yeah. Thing in the world that can stop him. Well, uh, do things really if you get what I mean. I know your game, old man, and I don't want to play. Oh, remember Launch? Remember she was a character? No. Nope. Exactly. I never watched Dragon Ball, so I don't really know Launch. Wow. These masters of ass whooping taught Roshi how to weaponize his own life energy, or key. 
Similar to many real life uh. Chinese martial arts, Qi is a vital energy all living beings possess. The stronger and more focused you are, the greater your Qi becomes. Roshi can use his Qi to increase his power, pushing past his physical limits with a bunch of awesome techniques. He can fire explosive shots, go buff mode, stun foes mm. with thunder shock surprise, and mm. even seal That's dangerous enemies away with mm. evil containment. Hey, you could just be like, yo, light bolts. <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> power. <laughs> turtle school. Ah, uh, turtle school. Creepy old man turtle school. Roshi in a half shell. He's a turtle man. No, it's not man. about beating people up as slow as you can like I first thought. Turtle School, or Kame style, includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony drunken style. Which, if you ask me, is just a missed opportunity. This is definitely going to be something interesting how they're going to do that. Drunken Fist, Thunder Shock Surprise, Even Containment Wave. The thing that worries me is the Demon Containment Wave, because it kind of overpowered it. It used to be, you use it, you die. But now Roshi does it like, like six times. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I nearly die. Despite most of the mm, students the floor is very slippery. Flight is actually a technique developed by his rivals, the Crane School. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill, even Barely. after oh. centuries of experience. Yeah. How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed or the mysterious <laughs> paradise herb, he's just shy of Either way, he's the age at all. Damn, I'm just impressed he can still get it for the girls after all. way older. I thought it was like 100 something. Yeah, I, I saw his age is like 360 something. Yeah. In the beginning. Fuck, dude. Good luck with that. But with yeah. all of those years Dude, look at all the weeds. I knew you were going to make the joke. <laughs> ...to developing one revolutionary technique. Kame, Kame. Oh, yeah, they're also the teachers who taught their uh, snippet, uh, snippet student the, the attack, even though the attack took way longer for them to do <laughs> than the others. Anyway, to be honest, devastating is an understatement. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole freaking mountain with it. This peak was inspired by the real-life flaming mountains in China, standing up to 2,600 feet tall. With this in mind, we can find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly 4 Man. gigatons of TNT. Are you gonna just ignore the moon bit? You don't have to say this one. There you go. That's gotta be worth, what, like 10, 20 mountains? Wait, how many mountains make a moon? It's just gone. It's just gone. Yeah. the moon in its entirety, Okay, I have a question. How many times has the moon been blown up? There's Roshi, there's Piccolo. I would not be surprised if there's a third somewhere in there. How did it come back the first time? They wished it back, and I don't remember. But Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from point blank range. That gun looks like a British Sten, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of nearly 1,200 Ah, boom sick in your guns. That means Roshi would have to react to the first bullet within 5 milliseconds. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. The maximum distance between any given shot looks to be about 3 feet, which means he would have to be moving at 180 feet per second in order to catch them all. Oh, <laughs> Pokemon. I'd finally stop getting married. <laughs> this <laughs> I, it's like I'm not even gonna address this one. This is just self-explanatory. Students grow further and further than himself every day. Oh yeah. Oh, that happened. Frailty of age means his body can't always express just how powerful he really is. And using too much key energy can cause all sorts of problems. Like when his master Pistachio died using the evil containment wave. His name is Pistachio? Yes. Got a problem with it? No, I just wanted to make sure I heard it right. He's tough enough to take down dozens of Frieza's soldiers and survived a beatdown from an alternate universe wannabe Frieza. He even took a barrage of death rays like a champ. And people's argument for that was, well, all of them. Uh, all of them, they can't kill anyone in a tournament. So that's their argument. Since he was suppressing himself so much, of course he would be able to tank it. But how much suppression of infinity do you need to suppress? And it's safe to say that this old, perverted, but genius of a man will never stop training. 
It's like, for instance, he doesn't comment on me how there, of course, the entire mountain isn't gone. So suppression is always a thing they know what to do. But just, as you know. <laughs> yeah, I know that's crazy, because, like, you know. We also never see him train, or he never even, like, mentions it. It's heavily implied. <laughs> well, yeah, because now he can just tank galaxy-level enemies. Apparently. Whatever. Frieza can train for three months and become God. Who cares? <laughs> Well, Yoda's not a perv, is he? Oh, don't worry about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. Nothing surprises me anymore. What the f Oh, God. Don't do that. Yeah, no. Uh, don't. There's a reason why. <laughs> I, I, I'm scarred. Congratulations. Who taught him how to use his chakra to do ninja magic? Similar to key, chakra is a it's form a of life age. energy. Hmm. In Hindu and Buddhist theologies, chakras are in I all writing in women notable students Naruto Minato Nagato race to achieve enlightenment. However, in the world of Naruto, chakra is used, used to, to blow things up using ninja techniques called jutsus. Gesundheit. Thank you. Like most ninja, Jiraiya learned about four types of jutsu: taijutsu or hand-to-hand -hand combat, ninjutsu harnessing chakra as elemental weapons and tools, genjutsu which covers illusion and mental manipulation, and senjutsu, and senjutsu. a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension. His only save is grace in this entire battle. Mastered as many styles as he could, and even learned one of the greatest ninjutsu attacks out there. Was ever explained why it makes you look like a toad? This, he uh, well, it, it the, absorbing that natural energy like that and not having control into it would we'll turn you into a toad. I forget the specifics, but that's how it works. Is it always a toad? I have no clue. I think it just depends on who you're training under. That would make sense. Yeah. Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques, such as the Because, you know, there's snake sage mode, there's slug sage mode, there's a lot of good sage mode, so depending on what type of natural energy you're trying to possess and harness, you will be like, okay. Research? Where else is a self respect? World, give me all your toad energy. Toad! <laughs> Unite! Bring a bit too far. On one such occasion, he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. Is there a squirrel sage mode? Befriending the toads, Jiraiya trained under the sage Fukasaku, where he learned a bunch of fire release techniques. Like the toad oil bullet and flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered a pact with the toad. Yeah, he could set things on fire. And summoning mm. them to the field of battle. As his own talents relied on trickery over brute force, such as hiding in shadows and manipulating his opponent's movements, the powerful toads were perfect allies. He can trap his bow that. inside a toad's throat, transform them into toads for interrogation, or even call a gigantic <laughs> amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest grump you've ever Not seen. Not impressed. Naruto Gabu can do Gabu. that too. Yes, <laughs> but that's just like what the point. Ah. Summoning can quickly green chakra. Guy. Perfected the art chakra control. Can always draw more energy himself through sentry suit. Entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Well, it takes a long time yes. to get into. Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable martial art Frog Kata, and a deadly Genjutsu, the demonic illusion Toad Confrontation Chain. The thing that I brought up in my last reaction, and it's the only thing that can probably have him win, but here's the thing about Dragon Ball. Some people have hacks, and these hacks can just be overdone with power, so... Sage Mode also enhances mm. Jiraiya's other abilities, turning his normal Rasengan into the unstoppable Big Ball Rasengan, which, according to... Uh, you know, until they got stopped. Unstoppable. <laughs> unstoppable. While he shows the scene by the same guy who stops it. <laughs> it was just like... It's like, oh, oh, oh God. Like Kakashi and Itachi, some of which are... The unstoppable Rasengan is the Rasengan Shuriken. <laughs> Even then, it still got absorbed, so... <laughs> Like Jiraiya around speeds of Mach 280. Now I get why ninja mm, are so awesome. Who needs guns when you're more than a hundred times? Fast? I'm happy they bring, brought it up. Isn't exactly the strongest or fastest I like how you said it like that because a lot of people are like, well, Marvel characters can barely move faster than bullets because apparently somebody said that once. <laughs> Hailed by the honorable title of Sunny. And he's a gutsy one. Like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band Pain before they tore his <laughs> <laughs> Good job. The emo rock band. Yeah. <laughs> that part sucked. 
Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know? Yes, and, and Kishimoto was... Guy after all. Yeah, yeah, Kishimoto was respectful enough of his character not to bring him back to life, so I'm happy about that. Which could be ratified because there's a theory going around that Jiraiya's still alive in the Boruto universe. So I'm gonna withhold that, that praise. Excuse me? Yes. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> right now, we gotta watch two old people fight each other. God. Damn it. By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, okay, well, we can talk during this segment because uh, I, I cut this out. So, yeah, basically, like the only thing that Jiraiya has is that he hopefully outsmarts Roshi to the point where he can actually get him off guard and, and kill him. Any other time, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, just get him in the weird high-fiving toes. Yeah. I don't really understand how that one works. It's just like any you now in a They're box. Yeah, it's, no a, it, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an auditory thing, so even if Chakra and Key weren't the same thing that people like to fucking say when doing matches like this, it, it messes with the senses and not so much the Chakra inside your box. So, it would work regardless. So, yeah, this, 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 this is the only thing that can help. Three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com Again, Dragon Ball characters, they just power through hacks. Yeah, they do. Yeah, just do. Oh, man. Get the auditory? Yeah, and, and there's also and there's also contradictions of that same philosophy in Dragon Ball. Who's this geezer? Really? The, these voices. Pictures. Oh. Fool! Words paint a thousand beautiful pictures all by themselves. Yeah, we're about to kill each other because you don't agree with my ethics of writing books. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Whoa. Fucking lightning bolt. Oh, hello. The heck is this? You're stuck now, Baldy. Am I? Am I really? No. <laughs> you see the look on his face? Oh wow. <laughs> We're gonna get out of that. Why'd you do like three movements? For that? <laughs> it's not questioning their ethics. <laughs> Name one time has that ever overwhelmed somebody aside from the first time it was you. <laughs> uh the uh, second time, sure. Wait, hold on. What? Is that supposed to be toad oil or just regular th thing? Because, okay. There's the ignition. It should have ignited all over the place as soon as the first one hit. But whatever, I'm not, I'm not a stickler. Oh, this is good animation. Oh, dude, right in the fucking house. How many times do they have to fix it? No. Oh god. Oh yeah, that's bad. What's this about? Hey there! Can you buy me some time? I think I think Gamabuta's gonna die. Well, there he goes. Uh oh. Oh, is he? Oh, he's about to use a demon containment weight? Are you serious? Why'd you call him a pervert? Alright. I think he was talking to Jiraiya, maybe? Oh! You have oh. no idea. I've been back on the beach the whole time. There he is. Ah, he's already pulled a Naruto. Neat. 
That's a nice way to do it. <laughs> uh oh, no, 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 he's coming. <laughs> Need a queen. Hey, he's still going in the real world. Uh, woke. Oh. Okay. I, I guess Jiraiya forgot. Momentum's a thing. Yeah, momentum is a thing. But I. One guy can break a mountain, yeah. the other can break a moon. <laughs> so that was Why did you do this match then? Why did you do the match then? Why did you do the match? I hate you guys. Look, I get you. I get it. You got a lot of requests, but just because you get requests on something doesn't mean you do it. <laughs> I mean, what else would they do? Something that makes sense. I don't know, like Dark Side, uh, Dark Side and Thanos. They've been asking for that for a long time too. I haven't seen him do that shit either. Dark Side is from DC. He's Superman's main bad guy. Oh, that guy. They've been comparing those two for years. Why these two? Because it's interesting. No, it's not. Except Roshi's a smart fighter too. Not only does he have way more experience thanks to his super age, but he's got an eye for traps and sticky situations. Like when he figured out the illusion powers of the Did talisman he just get bitch slapped by a giant? And remember, yeah, this is exactly what I mean. As soon as this is got here. Yeah. To reach the moon. Given the moon's distance of yes. 200,000 miles from the surface of the earth, this means the beam must have traveled um, over 57 <laughs> million miles per hour. More than 260 times faster than lightning. There was no way Whoa. Jiraiya could avoid Roshi's trademark move for very long. It's almost as if Dragon Ball characters have this unbelievable power output. But Jiraiya didn't even try to dodge it. Yeah, like, he was I'm running through it with his Rasengan, so you should have been comparing, like, the power output to our Rasengan in Kamehameha, which you did, so it should have blown him away. <laughs> Again, doing this just for eye candy is one thing, but again, it was too obvious. I, I hated to see Dry die like that, but it was... I, I, I rooted for him. Let's see what's next. Um... I think... Oh, that dark... Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Well... <laughs> Good job, good job, good job, uh, Jeff Bowder. You made me, you, you made me both right and seem like an idiot at the same time. <laughs> uh, so on a scale of one to ten, how awkward is this for you? Very. <laughs> uh, that's not on a scale of one to ten. All of the ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. You uh. serious? <laughs> Fucking serious? All right, fine. I take it back. <laughs> Douchebags, but okay. The one thing, the only thing I gotta say about that is, Mon Pashida says something about what? About the fact that Roshi was still coming toward Jiraiya. Because if I remember correctly, Mon Pa, they, 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 they don't necessarily have to be in that Genju state of, of being inside of his mind with him. I thought they had to continuously make the noise. Yeah, they continue to make the noise, but they can still see. But if they stop saying it, he's out. No, no, no. As soon as he's under it, you no. As soon as he's under it, they can stop. That's what happened. In, that's what happened in the in in the show. All right. That's what I remember. I need to rewatch the fight, I guess, just to be sure. But that's that's pretty much it. I'm not saying that just because they didn't say anything means that I think Dry would have won. He Roshi would have won another way. It's just I'm not a fan of how he won. I guess that's what that's what I'm saying. Like by accident. <laughs> Technically by accident. Uh. Maybe an epic clash that would have had uh, Roshi being like, yeah, power trumps tactics. But I, I told you this during the uh, segment of, uh, of Blue Apron. But Dragon Ball has this really, really weird inconsistency when it comes to power, skill, and how, how, how they manage it. You got Dragon Ball Z, where even though Vegito gets turned into candy with no organs, 
No nothing. He is able to still live, talk, and kick the crap out of Boo. Showing that you, with enough power, even though you're a piece of candy, you can still fight. Showing that power trumps hacks. However, in the Tournament of Power, Goku is drained, fatigued, can barely move after subsequent fight with multiple different other people during the Tournament of Power arc, and yet, due to his skill as a fighter, <laughs> he is able to hold off both Kale and Kalifla, who are currently in Super Saiyan 2 state. Or maybe one's in Super Saiyan, the other one's definitely in a above Super Saiyan 2 state, being Super Saiyan Rage or whatever, uh, 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 Berserker, whatever. He is able to take them both on, and they say this in the stands, that the only reason why he's not getting deck is because he's a better fighter. So pick one, Dragon Ball! It's either you're so powerful, you screw Hex, or you're so skilled, power means nothing! Ah! But yeah, they also they also brought up they also brought up that Roshi's smart. I uh, during my last reaction, I, I said that Jiraiya was smarter than Roshi. While it's still basically debatable on who's technically smarter, yeah, uh, I, I I did I, I will admit I kind of made Roshi seem like a complete idiot. So I will say that he is a lot smarter than I give Roshi credit for. But again, I will accept. Jiraiya can't beat Roshi. Especially, I've already said it in the reaction that he can't beat Roshi thanks to Dragon Ball Super. Which they brought up, and it's one of the main reasons. Yeah, and the Dragon Ball, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> or, and the Dragon Ball Z. I'm pretty sure we would have just assumed it was somewhere around the end of Dragon Ball. Yeah. We don't see him do shit in Z. Yeah, barely anything. The only thing I remember Roshi taking part in, and it's during movies. And that's it. <laughs> Yeah. And which aren't cannons. <laughs> yeah, and it's always against, like, just the random grunts. Yeah, random grunts. Even, yeah, even in, in, even in the canon, quote-unquote canon movies of Dragon Ball uh, Fokatsu no F, he's only fighting the grunts. <laughs> which, to be fair, you know... They're... We're very powerful grunts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're still grunts. Mm -hmm. But at least they're more than Raditz. Yeah. While I am not salty of this, I'm only salty of the fact that if you only want to limit yourself to Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, and then Roshi lost, uh, then, uh, uh, and then uh, Jiraiya lost, I would have been more lenient. But since I already brung up the fact that Super pretty much overpowered the hell out of Roshi, despite, well, being Roshi. <laughs> in the manga, he dodges a punch from Jiren. Jiren, I don't care. Jiren was only using 0 0.3 of his strength not to hurt how to hurt. Are you fucking serious? Uh, Goku didn't dodge most of his attacks. Are you serious? <laughs> So yeah, there's some problems. There's some there are some problems with the continuity of power escalation for Dragon Ball, and that was that was the only reason why we didn't really see Roshi taking this. But if he did, it will be because of the other people who did this battle. Because other people like uh, Action Rewind, uh, Fart Cartoon Fight Club, I like other death battle, but not death battle guys did this battle, and it's because they only use Roshi from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, and Jiraiya wins almost all of those battles, I, I, if I remember correctly. For, for the reasons of him being more tactical and having more versatility in his movements. And as soon as he gets him under that Genjutsu, he's pretty much done. Yeah. And, 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 and this is one of those scenarios where the writer pretty much makes, it, uh, makes the winner. In, yeah. this, in this very specific scenario. Because in any other scenario where Dry is not, not currently moving forward to him, <laughs> he would have won. <laughs> Apparently. And I think, I think they very much could have made it just a tie. Yeah. Because they could have had it to where Jiraiya stabs Roshi, but Roshi's body is still flying at him, so... Yeah. And it, and this is like a sec... Actually, if I'm thinking, remembering correctly, this is the second time they did this. This is the second time they did this. All my memory. Because during Raven versus Twilight, Twilight, in the midst of fighting Raven, was able to turn her into a plant, and, and Twilight starts walking up to her, and before crushing her... She says, "I hope that uh, I'm, I'm sorry to soil your parade." And as soon as she's about to step, the 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 raven comes down and destroys Twilight, showcasing, "Oh look, this character's just about to win." But here's the thing: she didn't that she forgot about, and then dead. <laughs> Same thing happened here. It's like I did it. I'm about to win. The one thing you forgot about: momentum. <laughs> dead. I don't like that. I don't. I, you can do it once in a while, but if I remember it through subsequent battles, uh, that's not a good way to, to have someone win a battle. Yeah, it's just not. 
Yeah, I, I, I like uh, I, I like the kind of battles, even though people don't like the battle very much. I like the Goku versus Superman final thing because it's like they're at the strongest form, they're at the strongest forms, and they're about to use their last, most powerful punch that they can do to kill each other. And it's just all up to who's more powerful than the other. Superman won that beam struggle, basically, that power struggle, basically. It wasn't just like Superman, uh, Goku punched the sun away, <laughs> but he forgot. When you blow up a sun, another one shows up. <laughs> what? Like, something dumb like that. So, I like this battle for, purely for the animation. <laughs> when you blow up the sun, another one shows, shows up. <laughs> when you blow up the sun, Terra Cruz thinks it's his fault, and he makes another sun! <laughs> and now it's double sun power! You fucked! <laughs> but, all, all I have to ask in the comment section below is that, no, these are two fictional characters, and this is not a, the end of the world that one character lost and the other is the other. I am not salty. I'm simply peppered. Only peppered? Yep. Only peppered. I am happy they're doing... Uh, now, now that we got... We're pretty much done talking about Drivers Roshi. We know, they, know our, they know our stances. We, we gave off our grievances slash critiques on how they probably would have made it a little bit better. If you're going to have Roshi win, have him win a better way than what how you did there. That's all I got to say then. Uh, and that's it. Now let's talk a little bit about Thanos vs. Darkseid. You know nothing about Darkseid, but you do know Thanos thanks to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes, but that's all I know about him. You also know the Thanos from that one TV show. <laughs> oh yeah, the dumbass that's like, hey, let me just power everyone up for, like, and then be like, oh no, that one guy is hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> let me change a tactic real quick. Oh no, that one guy is hurting me. <laughs> yeah, uh, the thing I, always, I, I already said about, like, I, I think it was the last battle or the battle before next... No, yeah, it was the last battle. Ultron versus Sigma. Ultron is a Marvel uh, supervillain, and I only know Ultron's abilities and feats due to the Ultron movie of the cinematic universe. But as many comic book writers, and even people who don't even read comic books, would know, the cinematic versions are a billion times weaker than their comic book counterpart. <laughs> yeah. So... Because, let's be honest. When Thanos has the Infinity Stones and he gets decked by like five guys. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> pathetic. Uh, it, that's one thing that the cinematic Thanos has over some of the show Thanoses. Because cinematic Thanos actually succeeded, snapped his finger one time, and half of everyone is gone, so. <laughs> yeah, but still, he had like four of the Infinity Stones. Mm -hmm. He was just missing the time one. And I think the soul. No, it, no, no. It was the time one. Just the time one. It, are you talking like the battle where he just comes down to Earth, or no, the battle on his planet? Where on his planet. The, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He didn't have a soul. No, yeah, he did have a soul stone then, because that's the, the whole situa situation where he's getting he's all tied up in Star Lords there, yeah. and how he's he's pissed off because he killed Gamora. The only way he got the soul stone because he killed Gamora. <laughs> oh no, uh, Mind Stone. It was the Mind Stone, the Mind one from Vision. The one from Vision. Oh yeah, so that yeah, so he did have a soul soul in there. Yeah, okay. It, I just There's that. I got the two mixed up. Yeah, that, that's two mixed up. It, but on both cases, when he's fighting other guys and he's getting overwhelmed, he did have all four. He only he was only missing the time one, and and mine. He's missing time and mine. Yeah, so he had four. Yeah, so he did have four. Yeah, so so he had four infinity. Getting decked by a spider dude, I, a wizard, and a guy in armor. <laughs> yeah. Granted, the wizard had the time stone, didn't use it, but yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, no. He has the infinity stones. All right. Maybe I should rival it with my own infinity stone? Uh, sling ring, uh, the, uh, cape, sling ring, okay, there you go, and time stone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but hey, uh, still a great movie also, nonetheless. How about this? Uh, look at Thanos, uh, sling ring him into wherever the fuck, uh, Dormammu was. I think, is, is it the fact that he didn't have, uh, yeah, he did have a sling ring. It, it, it just brings up my previous question when I was watching the movie, it's like, what do you mean you're trapped? You have a sling ring, can't you just, like, go anywhere? And then someone said, they're in space, you can't do that. How, what? Uh, uh, whatever, okay, I agree. They're on a planet. He's using the sling ring. You're still technically in, s whatever, fuck it. <laughs> um, whatever. Uh, <laughs> whatever. You're just like, they're on a planet. No, they're in space. What? Wait, what? <laughs> All right, uh, forget it. Uh, and uh, then they're like, no, they're on a planet. But isn't a planet still in space? It's like, uh, for, for, for Cinematic Thanos, the most impressive thing Cinematic Thanos did, aside from snapping his fingers and wiping out half the universe, was 
taking a moon, crushing it, and then throwing it at the enemy, and throwing it at his enemies, which was hell epic. However, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. however, in the comics, he probably took several galaxies, clumped them together, made a big bang, formed another universe, just so he can crush that universe and throw it at our universe. <laughs> For all we fucking know. <laughs> yeah, because that's how infinity works. Yes! You can do anything. The only problem here is, are they going to have Thanos with the Infinity Stones? Because Thanos, by himself, while he is a tough mofo... I don't think he can stand up to a guy who is a rival to Superman. They said the same thing about Lex, and you... <laughs> That's a good point. There you go. See, Superman's very, 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 like... <laughs> depending on what you're doing, you can fight Superman. So, uh, here, they, they show him with the Infinity Stones in there. I can see... Because if it's Thanos with the Infinity Stones versus Darkseid, Thanos has a high possibility of just decking him in, in the schnoz. <laughs> yeah. But if he doesn't have the Infinity Stones, and it's simply mano y mano, pure his strength, pure his strength. It'll be more even match, because I do know Thanos is, like, supposed to be, like, the, the, the purebred of his kind. The better of all of them in the comics, from the last video I was able to see. And he's strong in of himself. Hell, hell even in the, in the cinematic universe himself, he, he beat the crap out of Hulk. <laughs> yeah, so much that he's like, no... Yeah, no. Did, mm -hmm. did, yeah, didn't use a single Infinity Stone during that entire match. So showcasing that he is strong by himself, regardless. So, uh, cue the first scene, one of the first scenes in the trailer, just decking Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the way that he just fell down. For... <laughs> Heck, you know how you know how Thanos is gonna win because he shares Dragon Ball Z logic. As long as you're suppressing yourself, a uh, metric f ton, people will defend you. Because you know the scene where Thanos is kind of like this and uh, Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America, is holding, quote-unquote, holding him back? So you're telling me the guy who can punch the fuck out of, out of Hulk to make him so scared that he can't move can't bring down Captain America. Okay. It's because he's well, not trying. <laughs> well, I know Captain America is... He's strong. Stupid strong. Stronger than the Hulk? No. Exactly, that's 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 my point. <laughs> uh, I think he's... Uh, he used to be, uh, like, right on the cusp of being almost close to Hulk level. Mm. But Hulk got stronger. <laughs> mm. it's, like, it's like, this is going to be a, a, an interesting fight. I need to see what their research is going to be and exactly which Thanos they're using. Infinity Stones or no Infinity Stones? People know Thanos through the Infinity Stones. Like... If it wasn't for Infinity War, for a lot of comic dudes and me myself, I wouldn't even know who Thanos even is. Yep. So, uh, I have no clue. But since they're, uh, since the reason why they still use Dragon Ball Super for, for Roshi, they have to use every source material they can, just so they can not get the comment of, why didn't you use this from this source? And so on and so forth. Which is why they brought Super Saiyan 4 for Goku versus Superman to begin with. Because they didn't want people who even don't believe that GT isn't canon... Uh, uh, to see that Super Saiyan 4 Goku still wouldn't be able to do it. Either way. What about Super Saiyan 4 God Super Saiyan Blue? Apparently not. Because, well, even though that doesn't exist, <laughs> Josh, uh, there's the rematch showed that it showed that no matter how strong Goku gets, Superman will always be stronger, according to them. You know, I'm not agreeing with that philosophy. You can say whatever you want, but that's what Death Battle says. Just because Death Battle says this and that does not automatically make it fact. They are popular, they do it the greatest way possible, but they're not always correct. <laughs> yeah, because I know Superman has no limits, but it always depends on where he is. Where he is, who's writing it, because you gotta write... You, you, you can be a writer like me. It's like, Goku fights Superman, finds out that the sun is, the sun is his uh, main source of power, tra finds a way to instant transmission to him over to King Kai's planet, where there is no sun. So he's either on an equal uh, playing uh, playing field, or if Goku is so smart that he knows the universe inside and out, he can teleport him somewhere where there's a red sun that gets that takes away his abilities. Or he can be a dumbass and send him somewhere where there's a dwarf star where it enhances his fucking power. We don't know. It all depends on the right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Blue star. I, I, it's not a dwarf. It was a blue. That blue was like star. a dwarf star. That's like tiny. Yeah, yeah. It's the blue. It's a blue sun that that makes him more powerful. Hell, yeah. you even have writers that makes it so that since Goku's Kamehameha is basically just plasma, and the sun is plasma. 
And since the Kamehameha is blue, and in some cases yellow, but for Goku, the Kamehameha is blue, if he uses the blue Kamehameha, which is basically the plasma that is used for blue stars, and use it against Superman, he would just power him up. <clears throat> you have some writers that think like that. There are so many different types of things that writers can come up with to make anyone win any battle, period. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure a Kamehameha amount of plasma is not anywhere near the amount needed to in, do a substantial amount of power. In the end, you're not doing anything to... Uh, the whole the point wasn't powering up Superman. The well, point yeah, was, you're not... Not only are you not hurting Superman, you're kind of giving him an energy drink. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think it's that. It's like, uh, here's a here's a slice of beef turkey. Oh, you, uh, I'd be careful, Josh. You're implying that Goku's Kamehameha isn't universe level to a point where a sun is nowhere near as much power to give him Superman. <laughs> Well, I'm talking, I'm not saying that it's mm -hmm. not strong enough to blow up a sun. I'm saying the amount of plasma to power him up. Because I'm assuming that to power Superman, you need a certain volume of I don't think stuff. that's, I, I don't think that's the case on my end. I just believe it, it's just. Because if it's just blue plasma, because then uh, just, it, he could just like scoop up some of the fucking blue stars. And, and, and here's, it's mine. and here's the thing. It also depends on Ryder, apparently, because in the cinematic universe of Superman, he, uh, uh, a nuclear power plant blew up and it's because of the negative, uh, whatever the heck that the opposite of the sun rays was in that power plant that blew up a power plant, a, a standard U.S. power plant blew up. And Superman nearly died. So, it, it, so, it, so it's like, it, it really just depends on the output radi uh, ratio so, of radiation. So what you're telling me is we can nuke Superman. We can <laughs> nuke Superman with the right nuke, yes. <laughs> According to, I think, I th yeah, I think it was Batman versus, it was either Batman versus Superman or the actual Superman uh, movie, I forget. Because I hated those movies, so I don't remember now I'm just imagining Batman and Superman facing off or having some sort of argument. And he's like, don't make me get the nuke launch code. <laughs> <laughs> Send them to nukes anyway. The only times I ever... The, 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 there, there, are, there are some moments. It's like the moment that I think of when I think weak and strong is Darkseid with Thanos. Thanos, the quote-unquote weak strong part would be the strong beating up Hulk in the cinematic universe, but not being able to, I don't know, just, just pimp slap <laughs> Steve Rogers, like, immediately when he was just like this. It was like, why be surprised? Just do a little bit more, man. Just do a little bit more. You also You're, have the other hand. Yeah, you also have the other hand. That's also a good point. Good point. Good point. Um, there's that. But then you have Darkseid, who, I forget the name, I think it's Omega Beam or something. He has eye lasers that he says... Will always find his target. It's basically like weekly battle saying that it's since it's a homing attack, it can always hit you. Always. Period. No matter what. Doesn't matter if there's a wall in your way, it'll still hit you some way. Alright? So it's homing. It'll be like, oh shit, there's a wall. It'll find a way around it some way. Even the Great Wall of China, it'll either go over it and there's a force field. I don't know. Dig under. It'll find a way. It'll find a way. Uh, but he uses eyelators and he'd use it on Batman. How strong and fast do you think Batman is? Here's a hint. A peak human level, at best. <laughs> so, when you have Batman dodging a homing attack, being his eye lasers, I'm pretty sure Thanos, who's above Batman, <laughs> can dodge them too. Mm, yeah, but it really all depends on how they're going to write this one. I feel, I feel like Thanos wouldn't even need to dodge that. He'd just be like, I have my own eye lasers. <laughs> Uh, then, then again, yeah, I need to look at motivations as well. I don't know motivations of Darkseid. I know nothing about Darkseid. Doesn't he just hate? I Superman? think. I think he. I don't know his motivations. A lot of people just hate Superman. A lot of people just do. Yeah. Uh, I don't know his motivations, but the main motivations I always remember for Thanos is that the only reason why he even got the Infinity Gauntlet, did all the things he did, was inspired to do whatever it is that he wanted to do when it comes to killing all the people that he wanted to, was simply because he wanted to impress a chick. <laughs> what? That's it. He was in love with Lady Death. He was in love with her. And he's oh, like, yeah. I know what I can do. I can gather all the most powerful things in existence and kill everybody for her. She'll she'll love me then. Who's Deadpool? <laughs> <laughs> she'll love me then. What are you talking about? It made your job really hard. You don't have to, Oh, you have to take all those souls to the... Oh. Sorry, it's like, your, your soul lot. count will go by 17 trillion. 17 trillion. Bitch, please. I can judge 17 billion, 17 trillion souls faster than you take a piss, old man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. But, yeah, it was, uh, uh, 
Uh, closing statements. This was a fun battle. It was fine. I, I would have liked it if, even if Roshi was going to win. Well, liked it if you did it better. And, and also, I have a confession to make. I, uh -huh. uh, I had a little bit of a hint that uh, Roshi was going to win this regardless. Oh, no. I went to, when getting the when getting the battle, you know, my eyes went straight to the like and dislike bar. And as we all know, if a Dragon Ball Z character loses, this like bar is slightly a lot bigger than uh, than any other person not winning. <laughs> it wasn't that. It wasn't that. As soon as I saw it was like standard, it's like yeah, Ro uh, yeah, Roshi won. <laughs> like in the back of my mind, it's just like he won. He won. He did it. It's like I saw Kirby versus Majin Buu, a matchup that clearly shows that Kirby was gonna utterly destroy Buu. Yet there's still a lot of dislike bars. And I don't care what anyone of you say. I don't know if you played the most recent games. But Kirby just stomps, alright? <laughs> uh, hello? The newest Kirby game was Smash Bros. Ultimate? <laughs> that too! A, a universe level, or if you want to not wank him, gal the galaxy level explosion happened, and guess who survived? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's gonna take all that on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, all right then. Anything? Any closing statements for you? Uh, you, my friend. Hmm? Uh, I think that Dark Side is gonna get his schnoz decked. Yeah, I'm rooting for Thanos immediately right here, mostly because I don't know anything about Dark Side or care about him. Oh, yeah, no, me. Yeah, either. thanks to Cinematic Universe, uh, uh, I just love Thanos. <laughs> I mean, Thanos is too great. He he's the only main bad guy that I actually want to see succeed and continue to win. If the second movie comes out and he loses, I'm, I'm dropping the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> there there is one thing that I'm not looking forward to in the Cinematic Universe. What? Modok. Modok. He's the next villain after Thanos. Big baby head. Dad. That's such a downgrade, man. <laughs> like you were doing so good, you were getting like minions of uh, minions of Thanos, like minions for for the first Avengers movie. And you have Ultron. It's like okay, that's a decent thing. You 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 underpowdered him a little bit, but definitely still awesome uh, up there. Thanos. I'm gonna go to Mordok. Mordok is stronger than Thanos. In, in the comics, he's a bigger threat than Thanos. <laughs> What? Yeah. Tell me how. <laughs> uh, he apparently has the powers of the, well, equivalent to the Infinity Stone. Of course somehow. he does. Yeah. <laughs> because, some, you know. some, some bullshit like that. And I'm just sitting there like, this fucking baby head, this giant baby head that has the powers of the Infinity Stone. I for, is it called a Hero Squad? I think it's called Hero Squad. Superhero Squad. It's a cartoon show that was on CN, uh, CNN, not CNN, not CNN, <laughs> horrible, CNN. not a horrible news website, <laughs> Cartoon Network, let me just say it like that, Cartoon Network, <coughs> ah. Modoc was mm. this shrimpy little piece of nothing compared to Thanos and Do uh, uh, Dr. Doom being like the two main guys that were legitimate threat, Murdoch, Modoc. <laughs> yeah, Modoc. all right, top tier Modoc. Not, not like the one in the shows where he's like just some fucking guy in a chair. Well, that's what he is. He's just a guy in a chair. Hell, Thanos was a guy in a chair for like several years. <laughs> then he evolved into something better. <laughs> a guy who stood up. <laughs> yeah, what do you think Modoc's gonna do? Not stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, this is not this this is not the time for that kind of conversation. I'm glad to have known that. But yeah, Thanos versus Darkseid. Can't wait until that battle. This battle was fine. The only thing I'm looking forward to is going online, looking up all my favorite Naruto uh, reviewers back in the day, and also Seth the Programmer, and see how they uh, how, how they look at this battle. I don't know. Look at him and be like, it is bullshit. Uh, I know at least half of them will say that. <laughs> Everyone else would probably, I probably really, really agree. <laughs> See, I'm only interested in Seth because he already showcased uh, on his channel that he likes both Dragon Ball and Naruto and has been doing power scaling for both verses. So for him to do like a, uh, a quote-unquote debunking video, I mean, that's what he always does. That's what he always calls him. He doesn't necessarily have to like say, this is wrong, this is this is wrong, this is wrong. He mostly tries to say they kind of underpowered them. I, I'm not going to go as far as to say they underpowered Jiraiya or they underpowered Roshi. 
But I will say they probably left out a few things that they could have uh, established. But hey, animation's hard. You can't make them do every single thing, right? So, uh, yeah, I was uh, looking forward to those two decking it and in their faces. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, no, let's end this conversation before it goes on a little too long, yeah, which it already has. <laughs> Good. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs>